This is primarily a software channel, but I somehow slipped and fell into a hardware video. The HP ProBook 450G6 comes with a Gen 8 i5 processor, 8GB of RAM and 1TB storage. At first glance, these are great specs. That is until you realize that that 1TB SSD is a mechanical hard drive, not an SSD. Mechanical hard drives are notorious for failing. So when my friend brought this to me with the blue screen of death, I immediately knew that the hard drive was cooked. All data recovery efforts failed. So in this video, we are going to be adding a 1TB SSD to this laptop. We could use the 2.5 SSD slot and replace the hard drive, but this has an empty NVMe SSD slot, so I bought the Crucial P3 1TB SSD from Take A Lot. The Crucial P3 1TB SSD costs about 1.5 from Take A Lot or about 8 USD from Amazon. The reviews for it on Amazon, Take A Lot, and YouTube are positive. That's why I got this one. In the box, it comes with a user manual and one screw. To add it to our machine, we will need to remove the back cover. This is held in place by 7 Phillips head screws. So, to replace it, please unplug the PC and turn it off. Then, remove these screws. They are all the same size, so there is no need to remember which screw comes from where. Once all 7 screws are removed, you are going to put your fingers at the base here and pull gently. It should open up allowing you to easily remove the rest of the cover. Inside. You have two RAM slots, one with 8GB DDR4 RAM, the other one is empty. For storage, we have the hard drive slot and an empty SSD slot here. Before putting in the SSD, you need to remove the battery if it is removable. Then, you take out the SSD. and place it on the port at an angle, then hold it down with your finger and screw it down. If this device was mine, I was going to replace the hard drive and add an additional RAM stick to it, but unfortunately it is not mine. Once you've added the 1TB SSD, close the cover and screw it down. Please make sure that the screws are tight, especially below the touchpad here. Since I didn't remove the hard drive, I'm going to go into the BIOS and disable it there. When installing Windows, the computer usually restarts multiple times, so it might try to boot into the hard drive when it restarts. This is why I'm disabling it. To install Windows 11, I'm going to take another laptop and a 16GB USB. I'm gonna format the USB before downloading the Windows installation Create Media tool. After the tool is downloaded, I'm going to use it to download Windows into the USB. This will take some time depending on your download speed, so please like the video and subscribe while we wait.
Once it is done, all you need to do is put it into the laptop. Power on the laptop and then press F9 to get into the boot menu. In the boot menu, select the USB. This will open the Windows installation. Click on next. Click on install Windows 11. Then select the new SSD here and click on next. Windows installation would usually take hours with a mechanical hard drive but because this is an ssd it took less than 15 minutes the one of the laptop is a computer science student so all i need to do is install microsoft word excel powerpoint java and visual studio code before handing this back to him i bought another crucial one terabyte ssd from amazon with eight gigabytes of ram a heatsink and a Dell mounting bracket. I'll be upgrading my Dell soon, so stay tuned for that if that is something you're interested in seeing. I'm interested in doing more hardware videos on the channel, so please let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Thanks for making it this far in the video, I really appreciate the support and I will see you in the next video.